of the things I'd have to say most importantly about Dr. Kopp's leadership and his leadership style was his concern that leadership and ethical considerations not be separated. He was very, very concerned that somehow leadership and management had lost the ethical qualities that they needed. Uh, and he stressed this. One of the things that Dr. Kopp emphasized is uh, the difference between management and leadership and the ideal school leader or, or higher ed leader <clears throat> was something that he always emphasized and he not only emphasized that in his instruction and in what he taught but he he also modeled that and that was one of the best things that I saw. Uh, what I found about Dr. Kahn that that became part of also my research he researched what he was interested in. His line of inc inquiry focused on his interests and he developed that into a very significant line of inquiry. And that, again, that was a, a big model uh, for me. So in almost every aspect of, what, of my life here at OSU, uh, from being uh, a faculty member, being an administrator, uh, being a scholar, researcher, instructor, um, I remember things about not only what Bob Com said, but who he was that influenced my life. Yeah, genuinely a good man. Uh, he cared about higher education. He was uh, uh, he cared much about students and their welfare. And uh, I cannot say enough good things about Dr. Com. You know, you manage things, but you lead people, and that was Dr. Kahn's philosophy.